Today we're going to be looking at some of the worst reptile YouTube channels in existence. Most of these channels I bet you've never heard of. And why is that? Because YouTube knows everything about your viewing habits. And if you are watching Snake Discovery and Brian Barcheck every day, the algorithm knows it shouldn't show you this hot garbage because you're not going to be interested in it. Instead, YouTube will recommend this type of content to less empathetic people who watch Russian dash cam videos and think all snakes are slimy which sadly is a majority of the world. Just imagine being in my shoes, having to watch 15 hours of this type of content. So guys, don't let it be in vain. The animals that are in this video don't have voices and they can't speak up for themselves. So we need to. And there is not a good time to say this, but like and comment this video so more people see it. Thank you very much. Let's go. This is my blue tongue skink. He's a very calm lizard, very docile. You might even see him eat a baby mouse today. This is Prince's predator pets, and he looks harmless and wholesome, but he's not. Not at all. In fact, he's one of the only people I'm showing you right now that is ballsy enough to put blood in his thumbnails. Oh, and I think it's pretty cool that he's got this BattleBots arena set up for a little death chamber for his pets he doesn't want anymore. Oh, and check out this really cool video of his uh, pet Tegu eating a full-size guinea pig, which looks like it probably was a pet guinea pig at one time. And if that wasn't enough, he took that same guinea pig with lacerations on it and threw it in this retix enclosure. Who's far too small to eat that guinea pig. And it would honestly seem like he was put in there just to make content. Just to get views. Either this guy's an idiot, or he's a complete coward and can't dispatch his own animal. To keep it from suffering. This all makes me wonder, where did this guy learn anything about reptiles? My guess is, he watched other terrible YouTube channels that taught him all of these things, and that's how we have this monster now. You don't think this guy actually goes to Washington University, do you? This is not the kind of channel you have if you would like to keep a good job. The vibes I'm getting from this particular YouTuber, if, if we're even gonna call this person that, uh, I think it's he's more of a monster than anything, it would seem like he got a taste for the views on YouTube, and then he looked around his house and he's like, what kind of cool pets do I have? What kind of pets could I feed to my Tegu? Because the Tegu seems to be the star of this show. I could feed my leopard gecko. Oh my goodness. People would love that. That's the vibes I'm getting. Needless to say, all the creeps came out for this one. And some of these people are more familiar than you think. Like this guy, Derek's Reptiles. Today we're going to talk about live feedings. Are they ethical and okay to do? Or are they going to be the reason lawmakers take our reptiles from us? All right, guys, meet Derek's reptiles. And in a couple minutes, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you may recognize him. It's actually pretty disturbing. Derek's channel has about 3,000 subscribers and he's made about 336 videos. Most of those videos being really cool live feedings. Oh, I'm gonna let him get back to talking now because he's very intelligent and has a lot of good points. If you're doing live feedings and you're doing it in a educational way, I support that. Even if you're not doing it in an educational way, if you just want to entertain people, kind of like National Geographic, but if you're filming a live feeding and you're titling it, mouse gets murdered, constricted and squeezed to death till his eyeballs pop out of his head. If you put that as a title, you're a psycho and you shouldn't be doing live feedings. <laughs> But if we take a gander over at your YouTube channel, we can see some really cool thumbnails and titles here. Oh, and I'm not gonna forget about all the creepy comments that I see you leave on all of the worst live feeding videos. By the way, we're gonna be visiting these terrible videos on the screen right now because they are the most unsettling videos I've ever encountered. Just kidding, there's something much more unsettling than this. Will Nace in the building, man. I got big bar check in the building. Man. What's up? Big Miguel, man. How you doing, brother? Miss Savannah, the queen of Gatorland. Lori Barcheck in the building. Thank you for coming, man. I'm super honored. This is Tom Crutchfield. Wicked, wicked pickle king. Mr. Brian Porter. It's Potter, dude. Even I know that. How you doing today, Mr. Brewer, sir? How you doing today, sir? What up? Big Rob in the building, man. Big Jeremy in the building, man. Kevin from Nerd. How you doing today, sir? Uh-oh. How did that happen? A month before this interview, Derek's Reptiles reached out to me and asked if I would do an interview. And I said, hell no. And he asked, could Kevin do an interview? Which is what I know he initially wanted. And I said, no, no he can't, he's busy. And somehow he got to Kevin, somehow. And Kevin did this interview. And a couple weeks later, Kevin wanted to go listen to his interview and he discovered all of this horrible content on Derek's Reptiles channel. And Kevin lost his mind. 
and he also learned a valuable lesson. You should probably listen to your Donnie, because he has your back. You know what, I don't think I need to say this, but nobody that did interviews with this guy had any idea how terrible he was. And if they, they still don't, now they do. I almost forgot to add this. Mr. Kaufman, he did it to you too. He got you. I even warned you. And clearly you ignored me, so GG. Oh, and here's the runner up. Now this isn't the cringiest, most terrible live feeding channel, but it's still a live feeding channel. Meets Real Life, which is an interesting name for a channel like this, and they love to pit one animal against another. And a lot of these animals are pets. It's almost like he went down to the store and bought this newt and this clawed frog specifically for this video. Only will this monster of a human feed baby chicks to his monitor, he'll also feed tarantulas and his pet frog, as long as it brings in views. And ducklings! This monster is feeding ducklings to his pixie frog. And we're saving the best for last, or the most horrendous for last because I'm so afraid of you guys tapping out early on the video. One of the biggest mistakes that these type of channels make is they want to get in front of the camera, you know, get some clout. Yeah, dude, I'm the guy that, like, tortures small animals on YouTube. You should subscribe to my channel. And, uh, maybe you guys saw him at Tinley, because that's where this video is from. Hey, we out here, man. We at Tinley. I got my girl. I got my son in the back. <laughs> hey, we already been in there once, man. We came back out here real quick, take a break. Man bought a few things, some supplies and stuff, you know. And, um, when we go back in here, I'm just going to put some video together, man. Show you what's going on inside, so check it out. Here we go, y'all. Hey, you. Oh my goodness, did did Dov just say hey you? Like, Dov, you know these people? You couldn't have known. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, man. Deranged Reptiles has a small following on YouTube about 3,000 subscribers, but he has posted 751 live feeding videos. And he may be the most creative when it comes to violent thumbnail titles out there. Okay, this one is incredibly hard to watch. I blurred it for you guys though, but you can imagine what's happening here. This is the same mouse from a previous video with a centipede. And I found that video and let's show you what happened to this mouse before he was put in with these baby turtles. I think you guys get the idea. This video is 20 minutes long. 20 minutes of this alive mouse being slowly eaten by these baby turtles, which don't know any better. We need to be empathetic. This is not, we do not keep these animals so we can watch other things be eaten and die. My problem is, is this, very simple. To the average person that happens to see one of these channels, about Mr. Froggy or a frog eating something and they watch something fighting for its life and ultimately it loses. It's a corn snake, it's a baby alligator, it's a baby crocodile, it's a chick, it's a mouse, it's a rat, it's another frog. All of these are done for the sake of entertaining people watching one animal in a life struggle being eaten by another animal. But to the average viewer, this represents possibly the entire reptile community. And I think that's bad. And I'm really worried for us because this isn't why I keep these wonderful animals. Oh, and trust me guys, this is not all of the channels. There are several more. And when I say several, I mean 20 to 30 of them. And I know all of you guys, I've seen all of your content and I'm coming for you. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on! <laughs>